Hi members, I'm currently mixing a song for St. John's Film, which is coming up next month. Um, and I thought this is a good opportunity to show you how I use Adobe Audition. So in this window here, you'll see that this is a session, or also known as a sequencer window. Yeah. So right now, um, the first one here will be my MP3 track, the background music, and track 2, track 3, track 4, and 5 would be the you know voices and also vocals of this song. So let me just show you a bit of this, uh, let me just play you a bit of this song, yeah? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I want to, you know, export all these vocal tracks into um, Logic Pro to mix because um, I find it, you know, I like Logic Pro for mixing. So um, I use Audition for recording. So now I'm transferred this all. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to remove noise from these vocal tracks and also how to bounce them in a way that when I transfer them to Logic Pro, it would be easy to, you know, start editing on it. Alright, so let's start working on the vocal tracks. So first I have, I have my uh, vocal track up here, which I can um, take all these things here and bounce it to another track. So it's all in one, okay? So right now I've already bounced this track on top here. I'm going to mute the main track and listen to this one here. Solo this up. Okay, by double clicking it, you'll be going into edit mode where you'll be able to see all these things. Um, again, remember that our vocal tracks are always in mono. So I'm going to change this to mono by pressing F11 and just, you know, change it to mono. Okay, convert sample type. Okay, so voice mono. Okay, so right now I have, um, I'm going to try to clean up this um, track here. So looking at the end of his vocal track, you notice there's uh, some noise over this side here. Yeah, if uh, you can see some, you know, some lines right there. So that, that are noise, background noises, are also known as hum noises, yeah? So I want to remove this noise from the, you know, the whole recording right here. So what I'm going to do is very simple, yeah? I'm going to select a part which is only noise. Okay? And I'm going to go to effects. Time and pitch. No, no sorry. Uh, noise reduction, that's right. And capture that noise print right there. Okay? So I've clicked on that and it captured, you know, the noise profile right there. So right now, after capturing that noise profile, I'm going to select everything up here and go back to noise reduction. And now I go into the processing one, yeah? And this is the profile of the noise I've just captured just now, okay? So right here, I can choose to reduce this by, you know, how many percent? Right now it's about 89, I can reduce it by 90. Not too much because when you do too much, your, you know, your vocals or your sound becomes unnatural, yeah? So reduce by 35 dB, that should be fine. Play around with this, yeah? You might find something that you, you might like, okay? So what happens is, I selected a noise print right there, and by doing this, um, I'm telling Audition to filter all this noise, that noise that I selected from the whole track here. You get, a, get the idea? So I'm going to press apply. And there you go, my vocal tracks without that noise bit right there. You see it's cleaned up right now, it's a straight line. Okay, so let me just listen to this uh, track and see if it's still sounding okay. If it's not, I'm going to undo it and redo it again with less, um, you know, subtle settings. Okay, so much more cleaner and yeah, I think it works. Okay, so I'm going to press 9. I'm going to save this one first. Go to press 9 go, to go back to the session and go on to the next one. Okay, I'm just going to export everything out here so nothing to worry about. So all right, this one here, you see, it has a lot of noise right here, yeah? So choose a part which uh, you can, you know, capture a noise print. Yeah, this one is pretty noisy because probably his uh, headphones, you know, lead, bleed out to the microphone. Okay, I'm going to take this one here, 
Um, the shortcut is Shift P. So I'm gonna capture it that way. Okay, and there you go. Yeah, a few shortcuts. You can also use the menu if you want, and reduce it. Okay, it sounds a bit funny to me. So I'm gonna redo it again with uh, less, you know, less reduction. Yeah, sometimes you gotta sacrifice a little. So 75, uh, maybe by 30 dB, apply. Okay, so you gotta play with it around and see how it works. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Save that. Go back to the session and go on to the next one. Okay. Okay, because this one is uh, only here and here, I'm going to take this and bounce this to a new track again. Yeah. And there's, that's it. My track's here. Go mute that and go to this one. Um, remember to change it into mono because voice is always mono. Okay, if you notice there's a noise here, perfect. So I'm going to get this one, noise capture it, select everything, and process it again. Yeah, Maybe it's going to put a bit more, 80. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, cool. Okay, so it sounds good. Save that and go back to the. Uh, yeah, save changes, please. Okay, so now the last track here. Again, I'm going to bounce this track into a single file so it's easier to work with. So I'm going to select all this and uh, bounce a new track, okay? So it bounces my track, mute the original one, go down to the new one, select it, into edit mode, change it to mono, and there you go, it's in mono. And again, I'm gonna remove it again, yeah? Okay, be, be very careful not to remove, uh, not to select noise from their vocals, yeah? Because if you do so, you're just gonna remove their vocal threads inside the you know the track okay so this i think is fine okay already sounds a bit funny to me let me select a better noise print or maybe somewhere here see that beat before there okay remember don't do not remove this kind of sound yeah breathing sounds can be very um, natural to vocal, you know, vocal tracks. Okay, some noise there with some music. Take that. Um, select everything and remove it again. Maybe less this time, 75. Okay. Okay. Alright, sounds good to me. I'm gonna save this. Um, remember to always do a backup of this if you're unsure of what you're doing, okay? Because when you hit save, this would be changed forever, yeah? And best way is to, you know, make a backup of your original tracks. So you know, if you make a mistake there, if you reduce too much, you can also go back and um, fix that, okay? <laughs> So this track, that track, um, this one here, this one here, okay, and the top one here, and this one. It also helps to put a color on uh, my track so I know which I'm working with. So my confirmed tracks, I'm gonna put um, pink color. Yeah, I like pink. It's a very feminine color, but I like it. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, ping, ping, ping. Good color, ping. And this, I'll put it ping. Okay, so now I'm ready to bounce uh, the tracks. Yeah, I'm not going to bounce the MPG track because the arrangements is already in the logic folder. Yeah, 
in my other software. So I also want the vocal tracks to work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce, uh, first of all, I'm going to bounce the first pink color track here. Yeah, the first vocal track. And to do that, because I don't want it to start halfway like this, right? Uh, I want it to start at the beginning. So when I pop in this vocal track into my other software, it starts from here and continues. I do not have to, you know, time it again. Yeah. So there's two ways to do this. Yeah. Once you, one is you can bounce this with, uh, you know, with a marker in, in, in place. So when you put it in your software, they tell you which second it starts. Okay. But I'm going to do a simple way, meaning I'm going to bounce this track right from the beginning. Yeah. So I'm going to solo this track and mix down a session to a new file. Okay. So it's actually mixing down the whole file, but what happens is my only track here gets output. See? So when I put it in here in my software, um, I have nowhere to start and it comes in correct time. Yeah? Make sure to change this to mono because vocals are always mono. Okay? Once you're done, I'm going to save this as uh, mail one lead. Something like that. Yeah? Or any name you want it to be. I'm going to save it under. Okay, I'm going to save it under the folder that I set for this one here. It's called Booming Pi. Open a new folder right here and call this uh, maybe Mix Downs. Yeah, that's a cool name to put. Mix Downs and save it as mail one underscore lead. Yeah, I think this name would, you know, lead. Okay, cool. So, wave file 16 bit 44100, that's right. Yeah, you can also include the marker so you know where to put these things. Yeah, I'm going to go and include that. Okay, that's one track done. So I'm going to go for the next one. Remember, I'm going for all the ping, right? So solo this track only and mix down the entire session to file. Okay, um, and then what I'm going to do is uh, remember to change this to mono. Save this into, um, this would be a female, no, the boy lead, yeah? So maybe like a vocal underscore boy one something like that okay under mix down that's right cool okay good next one then okay this one here it's a uh, female one okay let's say female one okay so change it to mono uh, once you're familiar doing this you'll be quite fast at doing this yeah so vocal underscore female one okay as easy as that go back to this one here and the last one here I'm going to mix down session to file yeah so when I do this uh, I'm sure that I get you know the correct timings yeah so when I put it in my software it's easy to work start working with it so this is vocal female two yeah doesn't matter how you name it, just as long as you can find it to on, okay? So, okay, and that's it. I'm done. Yeah, so I'm going to go to file and save everything. Mm, yep, I'm going to save it under... No, I'm going to browse this under moving by, save it under bounce file. This is something else, yeah? The earlier ones which we bounce. Okay, so all save and great. Let's... I'll start working on this song on my, on my other software, Logic Pro. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you learned how to, in this video, you actually learn how to, you know, remove sounds from your vocal tracks or your recorded um, tracks and how to export them to transfer into another software. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Thanks, have a great day.